What's up from America's Man's Man? Happy fourth day of Christmas to you. You know, I usually get the very best ideas when I'm in the shower. Today, I know, it was this great song about how nobody remembers the fourth day of Christmas. And, because <laughs> nobody remembers the fourth day of Christmas. And that's, that's the corporate, something about a corporate line messing up uh, everything. Because, because really, <laughs> we live in a, in an adolescent culture that, uh, kind of jumps the gun, if you know what I mean. You play Christmas music, you know, from thank- starting at Thanksgiving, okay? And then you actually get to Christmas, and you, all, and you just kind of want it to end. It's too bad, because, um, you know, the, the wise men haven't even arrived at the, at the, um, the manger yet, so... So we're, we're still on the fourth day of Christmas. I was trying to remember the... F- you know, all 12 days of Christmas, and I, I couldn't, I got, I got up to like six, six, six calling, anyway, five golden rings, four French hens, four, no, shoot, so anyway, whatever, I, I can't, I, the, the, the board, uh, gym attendant couldn't, couldn't remember what they were either, so I don't know, uh, I'm at a loss there, but anyway, that's not what this is about, this is about, <clears throat> this is about the girl with the tattoo, I know there are lots of girls who are trying. Honestly, it's not a. Regardless of what you may think, this is not a. It's not a willful attack on on girls who have tattoos. But I would say to you, as your, I'm I'm your wingman today. And uh, I'm not. I don't go to bars. When I do, I'm, I'm the designated driver because I don't I don't drink. So there's no re. You know, drinks are not for kings. And America is a land of kings and queens, um, <clears throat> all of us. So it's it's really not smart to drink. It's a great way for the deep state to uh, to get a hold of your mind, like the Heritage Foundation. They're drinking in D.C. By the way, that sound you heard is uh, sparkling water. Anyway, so anyway, don't drink. Uh, girls who drink, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm not saying you know because Jesus turned the water into wine. Yeah, but but uh, but those people. Um, they weren't uh, exactly leading the, the kingdom of God, you can be certain. Um, not even Mary. I'll bet Mary wasn't drinking. Maybe she didn't. You know, who knows? Um, wouldn't that be crazy if Mary t- drank while Jesus Christ were in the womb? Didn't happen. Of course, she was 15. So today, Joseph would have been... Uh, Arrested, <laughs> and Jesus never would have saved the world. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> the girl with the tattoo. A girl with the tattoo. Uh, it's it's a big. So you, you're going to have work to do if you choose to date the girl with the tattoo. Here's the thing: uh, the deep state, uh, via Planned Parenthood, the deep state has used um, abortion mill uh, and evil incarnate uh, Planned Planned Parenthood. We know now that uh, Planned Parenthood's, you know, main clients are pimps that want to uh, clean up the little accidents that happen when they're selling uh, underage girls to, uh, you know, whoever they they sell them to. But but we we really have what we have more than anything, um, you know, in terms of sexual sin. You talk, you hear about the Me Too movement. It's not even a move. It's a Twitter. It's a fabricated Twitter fake news deal is what Me Too is. <clears throat> it's a really small minority, just like the sodomites, you know, but they, they use the fake news to get all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, very complicit fake news. And uh, so what is a tattoo? I mean, it, it takes it takes it takes a little bit of crazy to go out and get a tattoo. A lot of times people, you know, be drunk or whatever, Um but if they're not drunk, if they actually think about it before getting it, and they're not drunk, they're they're looking to they're looking to get that same high in in some way that that they got the first time. Usually, they had sex. Virgins don't often don't often get tattooed. Uh, they don't they don't have because here's the thing: you you got you have a pure girl, right? And you know what does she want? She wants you know she wants to fall in love with someone that will be with her forever, but. Um, but of course, you have the deep state uh, funding Planned Parenthood, 
and uh, all the pimpery going on. You have Planned Parenthood doing sex education, which is really, oh, get laid so we can create a market for abortions, <laughs> which, by the way, will screw your life up forever psychologically and in every other way. So <clears throat> when you see a girl with a tattoo, um, 99% of the time, first of all, she's not pure, okay? She's not, uh, uh, she hasn't, you know, she's, she's had an unwatchful father who has not looked out for her. Uh, because, you know, oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm liberated. I'm going to go have sex with as many men as I possibly can. And that will make me more sexy. Yeah, not so much, darling. Um, but, but this is what you're generally walking into. When I, when I see a tattoo, eh, I mean, regardless of how otherwise, uh, you know, attractive, uh, the, the smile or anything else might be, uh, if you're a Christian, Wisdom, wisdom should suggest to you that, well, why did this person feel the compulsion to get their body permanently marked in this way? And inevitably, I, 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 wanna, I was going to say nine times out of ten, but it's really so much more than that. 99.9 repeating times out of ten, <laughs> uh, it's, it's a cry for help. And... Um, I mean, maybe maybe you're that guy who's there to answer that cry for help. But if you walk into the life of a girl with a tattoo, uh, you know, same as if you walk into the life of a, a girl who has a child, <laughs> um, watch out. Watch out because if you have any kind of uh, you know, if, if you're doing something really good for, you know, if you're a soldier, if you're a, if you're a, um, if you're doing anything worthwhile, this is someone who is not going to be able to devote herself fully to you and your children with her because, uh, because she's, she's, um, she's going to have that distant look and you're never going to be able to completely wipe the, the memory, let alone <laughs> the fact that some other dude's dick has been, you know, where, you know, you're going to be putting yours. And I, I hate to be blunt, but this is, you know, this is America's man's man. We got to talk about this stuff because nobody, you know, obviously, you know, the fake news isn't going to say this. <laughs> Could you imagine the fake news saying, well, you know, when a woman is in her unclean period, <laughs> not going to happen. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, say what you want about Milo. He's a weird dude, but, uh, but he's totally right about the, um, you know, birth control does change a woman's personality, and, um, and and a tattoo doesn't necessarily change a woman's personality. A tattoo is a reflection of her personality, and it's not a good one. It's not a good one. Um, you gotta, you have to be compelled. Uh, you have to be to mark your body like that. You have to be trying to cling to something that's spinning radically out of a control. That the tattoo permanently injecting ink deep into you know multiple layers of your skin. Uh, is, is the only way you've convinced yourself you're able to hold on to whatever that rock, whatever that semblance of decency, of something, that, that long lost something they haven't figured out that they're missing yet. Um, you know, that's, that's the only way that they can figure out how to do it. And of course, a tattoo never can, uh, just like crack cocaine never can. Granted, a tattoo may be a little bit less physically harmful to the body than crack cocaine, but... Um, you know, in the case of a, uh, a woman who's been unfaithful or who has uh, acted in such a way that her wife doesn't want her, you know, the scorned woman case, uh, you know, there's, 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 you, you're, you're going to end up playing, um, playing Freud uh, to, to this, this woman, you know, tell me about your, you know, and, you, and uh, I mean, if that's the role you really want, then fine, but if you're trying to do anything big, uh, anything, you know, on the level of, say, America's man's man or Donald Trump with your life, uh, you know, this, this woman is, uh, she's, she's going to be a drain on you. And, um, so you have to kind of make a decision. Well, she really worth it. Or, uh, you know, can I, can I do better than this? This is America's man's man on girls with tattoos playing your wingman for today. I'm Peter Vidala.